Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Come on in, make yourself comfortable as always here. Hey, I would like to cover a feature. It's been in Sonar for quite a while now, but I want to show something that is very easy to overlook, but it's very important a way to help organize your files, keep everything straight. Otherwise, if you just skip over this, I think after you do a couple of songs, you're going to end up going, man, all my audio files are all in one. I can't tell what is what. But this is will help you to keep things organized and to keep all your audio files from one song in one particular folder and it's called a per project folder and let me show you here let's uh, go over to the computer and let me fire up sonar and the first thing that usually comes up is this quick start screen you can elect not to have this start up each time but let's just go ahead and create a new project and first thing that comes up here is the name. I'm just going to call this a per project folder. Per project folder session. Okay. And where do we want to put this here? Now, Cakewalk will default where they put it, or you can decide where you want to put it. But let me show you. You can go ahead and click this and browse here. I'm going to put these on my D drive. I saved my C drive for my uh, programs, operating system, and everything. You see my D drive, I've got uh, audio, video, E drive is for samples. Let me open that up on my D drive. Well, I've got a couple of uh, folders here, but I've got one just geared specifically for Sonar Platinum files. This is my older Sonar files, but let's, I'm going to select it for that since we're in Sonar Platinum. Hit OK. Here's what I want to talk about. Store project audio in its own folder. Now, also you'll note that the audio path will also go to that D drive. When you select the location to where you want to put the session file, it creates an audio folder in the same place there. But I'll show you that later here. But make sure that you have this check. Store project audio in its own folder. So I'm going to click OK. Oh, one last thing here. You've got templates. You can make your own templates. You can see all the variety that you have. I've even made a special one that I use for YouTube sometimes. But let's just go ahead and go with, uh, why don't we just go, let's see, what's a good one here? Why don't we just go with a normal? I'm already on it here. I'm going to click OK. And while a session loads up now the normal basically is just uh, layout right here we don't have any tracks inserted or anything so let me just go ahead and insert a track I'm gonna insert an audio track go up to insert okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and record a little bit of something right here and I've got my voice recording and I'll just uh, I've got the track armed and you see where I'm recording away obviously I'm in stereo I probably want to set that for mono and I'm just gonna stop that and I'm gonna go ahead and file save I'm gonna save the session okay now this is what I want to show you here I'm gonna go ahead and close this out I'm gonna go back to my D drive my sonar platinum here we go per project folder session there we go that's our session file I click on that there's my audio file and I have one audio or wave file in there there it is and this is my session file cakewalk session and that's basically all I really wanted to show you it keeps things totally separate here I'm just going to go back and quick create a new project just to double show you here. I'll open it again. Let's uh, create a new project. Let's just name this uh, project number two. I'm going to go back to my D drive. You see it defaults. I haven't changed it in my default settings yet. And this PC, go to the D drive, Sonar Platinum. I'm going to click OK. We'll just do another normal. Here we are. I'm going to insert another track so I can have an audio track to save. 
I'm going to R for recording. And you can see I'm recording away a little bit right here. That's good enough to show what I want to do. And let me go ahead and file save. Now you saw I could go to file save as, so I could save it whatever I want. I could save it as a template file. That's a whole other video here. Let me close this out and come back. We should have two Sonar Platinum. There it is. Per project folder session one is the first one we created. Project number two. And this is one I've been working on here. This is actually my first uh, project I'm working on. I'm just Sonar Platinum one. I'm basically, I'm just goofing around with it. I'm learning the program a little bit better myself. So here we go. We've got two projects already in there. And again, separate audio file. There's my one wave, track one. And my session file. Everything on nice and tidy. Okay, got it totally separated. And that's it. <laughs> it's really a simple feature, but it's a really valuable one. So don't overlook uh, making sure that per project file box is, is always checked. I think it'd be a big mistake not to. I almost don't really realize why they don't, just don't default to that, but it gives you choices here. Sonar is really good for that. It gives you a lot of options, but I would highly recommend that to keep things organized, that's the way you do it. And then you can see, uh, you can go ahead and put that on a totally different drive, your audio on a, a totally separate drive. You could have your session file on one drive, and then I could have gone down to the next box and put my audio on a whole other drive. You can do whatever you want there. But the main thing is, is I've got my two sessions that I just opened right up there that I created, and they're all totally separate from each other. Everything's nice and tidy and organized. That's what we want, right? Hey. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.